Welcome to the News at 10. The Greenleaf Friends Academy girls basketball team is preparing for their first state tournament appearance since 2009. But their season was suddenly changed last week when their assistant coach was killed in a car wreck. The head coach, Loma's husband Jim, was hospitalized. The team canceled its district championship game that night, but it's now looking ahead to 1A Division I state tournament, which is happening this week. And, of course, they're going into that tournament with coaches in their hearts. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley spoke to the team, went out to the practice today as they're getting ready for these playoffs. Yeah, well, Brian, Greenleaf Friends Academy is a small school, about 44 high school students. It's one of those schools and communities where everyone knows each other, like Coach Biddick. Faith, hope, resilience. Qualities the girls basketball team from Greenleaf Friends Academy shows on and off the hardwood. I think just like mentally preparing and really bonding as a team this past week. But after clinching a spot in the state tournament for the first time since 2009, a tragedy changed the team's season and the players' lives. On February 9th, a couple hours before their district championship game, head coach Jim Biddick and his wife, assistant coach Loma Biddick, got in a car crash. Jim was hospitalized and is recovering. You never think you're going to have to see your coach in that position to where you have to tell your coach, so like, okay, you're going to be okay. Like, that's what he tells us. And now just like roles are kind of reversed. The team has been able to visit Jim in the hospital. Like I'm glad he comforts him knowing that we can be there for him. The players felt he was relieved to see them given what he's lost. Loma died in the crash. She taught math at Greenleaf Friends Academy for years. It was the best math class I've ever had. And coached volleyball along with basketball. She was pretty amazing. Students say she was involved in their lives on the court. She was incredibly uplifting and in the classroom absolutely always positive she will always point out the positive in whatever you're doing whether that be in the classroom or on the court when you saw one you knew you'd see the other soon and they were just a dynamic duo that you wanted to be around and they were like you could see their love they showed you all their love and they were just a huge impact in my life and just in the community at the school an impact made clear the night of the crash when the district championship game was called off fans who showed up at the canceled game stayed to support the team they all prayed together and the chapel service for the biddicks was held the next day and there were so many people there just wanting to make sure we felt loved and that we felt supported. And I think that just shows that Greenleaf is like a huge support system. Schools within their conference sent them cards, flowers, and candy. And like, it just shows that it's so much more than basketball. Like it's actually, it's a community, not just within the school or the, like our community next to us, but like statewide and anywhere. Like they feel our pain, they're with us. And I think that just shows that sports bring us together in ways we can't imagine. As they look ahead to the state championship, the team isn't just playing for a trophy, but for Jim and Loma. As a team, we've definitely like, we're like, we can do this. Like we're going to do this for them. Like it's not about us anymore. Greenleaf is making shirts to honor their coaches for the title run. And on the back, they're gonna say, you fight for us, we fight for you. As it's what we told our coach when we saw him in the hospital. And um, then it says Jim and Loma under it. I just want to go and play my heart out for them because that's how they coached us and um, they're excited for us to be here so I want to go and do that and I think that's how the team is feeling too. Now Greenleaf Friends Academy will play Prairie tomorrow in the first round of the A1 Division I state championship. Tip off is at noon at Columbia High School in Nampa. Wow that game is tomorrow? Yes, Have tomorrow. Said, oh my gosh, how do you even play? Yeah, what a way to go into a tournament. Something like that, I know. Oh, our hearts just go out to that entire community and that family, the Biddick family as well. Jude, great story, thank you.